Hello, welcome to the channel. As always, we're gonna start off the day with some sales because what better way to start a video than to see what's actually shifted, which to be honest, it's not a lot. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. We had Vinted and Poker saving yesterday's day, to be honest. I played poker yesterday evening and netted 235 profit. I did mention it in the last video. Four pounds for these 50 pence paid Old Navy jeans. They are a massive size. I say massive, just bigger than mine. That's probably not massive, is it? Right, now let me teach you guys about good, good business. So you might remember at the car boot sale, I paid 10 pounds for these five Xbox One discs. Now I've spent the money on them. I've bought them home. I've photographed them. I've listed them. I've put them available to the public. And I've sold them for 10 pounds on Vinted. Basically, it was a bad purchase. They're all relatively two to three pound games. And I just thought, oh, I'll just buy them and I'll research them later. I've got my money back, all right? At least. For seven pounds now, I paid three pounds 50, I think, or four pounds. So again, just stuck around too long. Not your daughter's jeans. When I picked them up, I did mention that the majority of the market was actually in America. So that's where most of the sales were for like 20, 25 quid. In the UK, it was barely anything. I took a chance anyway, hoping to open up to the American market. They sat around for just over a month, so I popped them onto Vinted. Seven quid, gone. And for £13.50 now on Vinted is this Master System game, Miracle Warriors. The last of the games that I was managed to test before I completely knackered my console. I do have a stack of them up there which need to be tested, but I, can't, I just can't do it. I haven't got the console anymore. I broke it, got rid of it. £13.50. Over to eBay now for a grand total of £10.80 is this stack of like mixed toys, vintage toys, modern toys, all sorts of different ones in there, different franchises. That's gone to Eddie. Eddie says he loves the videos and the life tips. So I hope you're not following them too strongly. I hope you're surviving in life. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> but massively appreciate Eddie. I get on its way to you today, my man. Thank you. And that's all the sales for the day. So it's about 40, 50, about, about 60 quid for the day not great is it <laughs> but also some people don't earn that in a day i am grateful i do need to be grateful and i am grateful because it's averages today i might have a 200 pound day I might have a 30 pound day you know oh and also yesterday i sold the henry denial 45 quid i'm going to give that to emma all right let's get these lot packed up then before i do get carried away in the post is too much and forget because it has been known i want to give a big massive thank you to darren tomo thompson he came to me with some information about this Rangers top yesterday, sent me an inbox and mentioned that, oh, I've had another sale. I'll get that in a minute. Turn your notifications off though. <sighs> he came to me, he'd done some research into the top or at least he knew about the top. And he mentioned that long sleeve embroidered Adidas and embroidered logo were only player issue. So, if he's correct, which I've done some research on the back of that as well, and it seems like he is, because I'm not an expert on football, I'll never claim to be. I'm not an expert on anything. I get a lot of help from the community. And I give back where I can as well. But what he said seems to match up. So with that in mind, this is in fact a player issue Rangers top. He did mention, and I have actually seen it on some listings as well, he said that fans got the felt badge and Adidas equipment. And when I was looking to legit check it, I was seeing a lot of felt badges. Some of them even said the badge is missing, but you can replace it, whatever else. I was thinking, in fact, mine's embroidered. I couldn't find anything with embroidery on. And it makes sense. So it does make sense now. So Darren, again, massive, massively appreciate the information, mate. It gives me a much better way of listing this and obviously it increases the value a lot more. I think classic football shirts have got it listed for 350. But there was a few people that asked me about this. And if anybody does want it, reach out to me. And I will do you a deal on this. £250 posted, no messing around. It's in really good condition. Tiny little pools here and there. But I mean, they're like cotton bobbling pools. You could probably debobble that off. There's no like line pools or anything like that. Really good condition. Yeah, so if anybody wants that, I'm going to leave it open. At the moment, I'm not going to list it straight away. I am probably going to start taking photos of it at some point, but I'll leave the photos there. I'll probably leave it for the next three to five videos, three to five working videos. And if you want it, message me on Instagram or email me. 
Let me do a deal. 250 quid. It's a large size, size 44 to 46. I think that's XL, isn't it? I think. 250 now, or I'll just hold on to it and wait until start of the season and Rangers start kicking off because uh, he mentioned that they they do start off to a good start normally so that obviously helps increase the price so Darren again massively appreciate that mate people don't need to inbox me with information and they do so I appreciate it I love it when I've got an easy packing day since not doing consignment obviously I'm choosing what I want to sell and I don't tend to like selling like massive record players and things like that I like to sell these kind of tricky things where the postage doesn't take a day to do. And because of that, would I ever be rich from eBay? Probably not. Probably not. But eBay is not my only source of income and I don't ever intend it to be my only source of income. It's an avenue. It's one of. But it does me all right. Oh shit, I've unplugged it. Come on then. Thank you. Honestly, such an easy, easy, easy shipping day. Nothing needs like extra care. Some of it's pre-packed like these jeans. It's just a nice, easy day. They will just slip into a poly bag, which are over here. Pretty sure something else sold on eBay while I was talking to you, didn't it? Let's go and check that out. Whatever it was, it was only six quid. It was only six pound, whatever it was. I'll have a look at that in a minute. And the Xbox games, and we're done. I was there for a minute. Well, let's have a look and see what it was that sold on eBay. For six whole pounds. It was... Ah, the Copenhagen wallet. Decent. 20p, I think this was. It's just a little Moss Copenhagen leather mini clutch purse wallet thing. Six pound free postage. Beautiful. We'll print that postage label right this second now, and I will actually post it today, obviously. But the customers brought that less than five minutes ago. They're going to be like, oh, Speedy Gonzalez, baby. Yeah, that's how we do it. No notes with the order. There we go. It's going to blow their minds. Is it going to fit in here? If it does, that'll be lovely. If not, oh, just like a tiny little bit too small, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do that and then just pop it into the bag. Postage done. Emma got back from Glasgow last night and uh, classic Glastonbury bucket hat. Last year I got an Aliens one, give it to George. Somebody commented saying, you keep saying kids, but I've only ever seen Ada when you've only mentioned Ada. So I've got a stepson as well, George. He's 12, but he's normally at school or doing, you know, Ada's always, Ada's still young. She has to be with me all the time. So you see and hear more of her. But George has been in a few videos. He's been around. What have I got left to do today on there? Not a lot, I don't think. Today is a big, big, big photograph. I say big. I'm going to just start working on that shelf as promised the other day. Because it needs to be done. It's too much there, it's just been set there for ages. A lot of it is 10 second listing as well. Congratulations, by the way, to yesterday's Nintendo DS winner. Links are all down below in the description. In a recent video the other day, I asked you guys to drop some links down below, or drop some names of some reselling channels down below who you feel like need a little bit more recognition than they actually do. So we're gonna go through a few of those comments today and we'll take a look. These are all suggestions from you guys. So these are community supported, community backed suggestions for channels to get a little bit of a light shined on them. As mentioned, I'm at 11.6 thousand subscribers, which is in the UK reselling community, a relatively large channel. So I need to start recognizing my position and using it for good. I'll be the anti-villain. Is that what they call it? I don't know what they call it. So first channel, which keeps on getting a lot of mentions is of course, Welsh Pokey Picker, Connor over at Welsh Pokey Picker. Now, when Connor first started YouTube, we was around when he had like 20 subscribers. We've been there for the beginning, most of us lot, me, John, Kieran, all them lot. Ian, James, and we've watched it just grow from strength to strength. I mean, he's always been an absolute nutcase character. He's an absolute watch. He's somebody you just watch and go, <laughs> what is happening? But he's also very knowledgeable in certain aspects as well. But he's just a character. He's. I remember he used to do um, live stream beer boxing. Like, he'd sit in his bedroom and like drink his beers and do a live stream. I don't know what that was. 
you do what you want in your bedroom, but I don't know what that was. And yeah, just a very, very, very fun character. So if you haven't already and you want someone fun to watch, Welsh Poker Pick, go and check him out. Obviously, I want to pick some channels that I've not heard of before either. This is a really weird one for me. Somebody said to me, Ryan's Fines, please give him a shout out. He's one of my favourites. Now, Ryan's Fines was somebody that I was watching way before he even started the channel. So it's weird that on my channel, someone's asking me to plug him. He doesn't need my plug, by the way. Just I'm just mentioning him because, yeah, Ryan's is one of those channels that I used to watch religiously while I was getting into retailing. I started my retailing with clothing, like the majority of us tend to do, to be fair. And I found my love for vintage and stuff uh, through his channel and through Paul Can too. So I'm going to give Ryan's Finds a shout out regardless. Not that he needs my help or anything like that. But I just think he's a great channel. Fucking needs to upload more. He has like 10 years off in between videos. But he makes cracking videos and finds that really cool vintage stuff. He's got the knowledge. He's got the tenacity. And he's just I just think he's a great channel. So go and check him out. And if you want somebody very similar to watch, who are absolute twins and doubles, go and check out So Vintage as well. He's also in the same sort of category, the same sort of calibre, and he takes 10 years off in between. I've left my notifications on! He also takes 10 years to create videos. But when he does, they're great. He just doesn't do it enough. So, 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 so vintage. Therefore, So Vintage is another cracking channel to go and check out. I want to find a really, really small one. I'm going to go through these comment section over the next few weeks and just pick a few out, by the way. And here's one that I don't know. I've never seen the name before, as far as I'm aware. I haven't checked out the channel. Haven't even clicked on it. It's a recommendation from Steve Marley. Great bloke. Always been around for me for a little while now. But the channel is... I could be absolutely shooting myself in the foot now. Because I haven't... I don't know what's on it. Collector's Quest. So there's the bingo. There's the gamble one. There's the scratch card channel. I don't know what's on there. You go check it out. Collector's Quest over on YouTube. Steve Marley's recommended that you get a good shout out for the channel. I hope you're not a Nazi. Well, let me go get these parcels dropped off at the shop. It's only, what is the time now? 20 past 10? Beautiful timing. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop those parcels off and then we're going to go take a quick little look in the charity shop. Go and check in on the ladies and see how they are. Speaking of George, he's popped his tyre again twice in like two months, if that. So I'm going to have to go get that supplied and fitted because I'm lazy when it comes to that kind of stuff. This is why we always like this brand. That's going to take 10 minutes to do that. He asked me to wait. I said, I can't, bro. I can't, I could spend them 10 minutes doing something else. So I'll see you in a bit. There we go, let's see if we can't snag a couple of things out of here today. Just a couple of things will do. Good morning. Oh, hello. Um, What's all this? Um, Sorry, mother. Oh, just, I, I ate you twice then. I gave you a, an elbow and all. <laughs> no, well. Depends how short you are. <laughs> Always see the positive, eh? Oh, oh sorry, there's me whacking it. I think I've never seen that one before, ever. Oh, sorry. Do you know what? You're the second person I've elbowed today. <laughs> In the same shop as well. Let me grab a basket. Sorry, let me go out of you guys' way. Take myself to the back of the shop where I'm safe. Where you're safe. What the hell are they? Morning. Morning. Oh, sorry, I made you jump then, did I? Morning. Yeah, I'll have a look at your rail. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go home and tell the missus I've been beating everyone up today. No, not at all. Wait, is that two? Result. £2.50, diesel, eight. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Some brushes, four squid. Probably only like eight or nine in them, but. Take them. What are you doing in my basket? Get out. Oakley. 
Yeah. What are they going to be? I think they're a 575. I think I will, though, still. Yeah, I will. Doing all right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm coming out, I'm coming by. <laughs> Thank you. Let me get out your way. <laughs> Always got to take a little look at the ladies' veils, especially the tops. LA gear. Spite some DMs. They're very inconspicuous, but they are. How much are they? Oh. I was hoping they were going to slip under the radar. There's profit in them, but not that much for that. Because look, the wear on the bottom is quite... There's holes in it and all sorts. Otherwise, I would have done. Right, I'm leaving the aisle. I'm moving. I'm on the move. Blue! You can get like five to 11 pound for that, but prices are so variable. We'll leave it. Such a sad ending. George cried. Come on then, let's see how much they're taxing on this then. 15. Probably worth it, but can't be asked. Not bad for a quick stop. We've got some items that I obviously know about and some that I don't. Some that I like to call a bit of a gamble. However, I am now late to pick up the tire. I said I'd be 10 minutes. So I'm probably in trouble, to be honest. Not the worst charity shop pickup in the world. Nice little pop-in. We made some profit. Got some cool bits as well. But of course we had to stop off and get the vegetable samosa and the druggy milk. I'll show you what I picked up. I took some risks on some stuff without researching because I thought, well, there's got to be profit in that. I was wrong on a few things. Bella Donna Trivet paid £2. They're selling for around about £5 to £7. So not great. Remote control Scooby-Doo paid £3.50. They're selling for around about £12.50. So that should be all right. Even if I get a tenner on Vinted, I'll be happy with that. Because that'll bring the spend down. Some brasher shorts. The shorts don't do anywhere near as well as the boots. Neither does the t-shirts or the coats, believe it or not. But I paid £4 on these. Should be a comfortable 12 to 15 back. Or a quick tenner on Vinted. Haven't checked out these ones yet, but if they're my size 33, I could do that on a diet, to be honest. But they were £5.75, so it's like somebody's told them what Oakley is. But these are from 2017. Some nice, like, metallic Oakley shorts. If they fit me and they're not too crotch ridery, I might keep them. We'll see. But if not, again, another 15 quid on those. Is that a say, Rui? Just pleased to see me. £1.25. It's not worth too much, but again, it's probably another quick fiver. Just bringing the spend down. I saw this puzzle. It says Huai Xiang, which is Chinese. And I've seen a lot of these weird Chinese thousand piece, really hard to do puzzles do really, really well before. So I saw the price of three quid and thought, yeah, I love that. Uh, someone's got one listed for £5.99 on eBay, free postage, so whatever. And you saw those diesel t shirts for £8 that was in the shop hanging up in front of these Napapiri t-shirts for £2.75 each. Annoyingly, one size too small for me, I think. I like, to, I like to wear stuff myself first, you know? Yeah, one size too small there. But they're really nice graphic t-shirts, £2.75 each. What size actually are they? Oh, they are, they're large, yeah. So you've got an orange one with the flag, which is quite a nice graphic. And then we've got one which is simply a spell out. Beautiful that. Wish that one was an XL. But shh, don't tell them about this brand. £2.75 each. Should be 15 quid a t-shirt, maybe up to 20. Just found a f***ing hole in those Oakleys. Livid. I say a hole, it's like a snag just there. Barely noticeable. Hopefully they fit me then because I'll keep them. Oh, and these Liz Claiborne Paris sunglasses. One pound, turtle shell, bit scratched up on the lenses, but they'll soon buff out or somebody can change them. A pound, 15 to 20. Not bad, is it? Not bad for a quick little popping. Well, I'm gonna finish up, smash this samosa to pieces, and then cane this druggy milk and get myself sorted out for the day. Massively appreciate you watching, guys. Really do appreciate your time more than, I can say more than vegetable samosas, but that's a challenge, that is. Take care, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Come on.